new washer and dryer are coming today so we're gonna move these out and I'm gonna clean behind them but oh my gosh like why savages that's what we are we are savages <laughs> so we're gonna move these out I'm gonna scrub this area as fast as I can what is that oh it's a rag so we've clearly never, ever, ever cleaned behind any of these. So I'll pull these out, clean it up, get the new ones in, and uh, probably maintain that a little bit more consistent. So our new washer and dryer are on the way, so I'm going to clear all of this up as quickly as I can. Some water had spilled out of our old washing machine when we were moving it, so I am sliding around in here on this towel to try to soak that up. And I also noticed that the baseboards um, were peeling. The paint is peeling off, so that is not dirt, and the more I wiped those down, the worse that I made that. So. Um, I'm going to clean up this space as best as I can, as well as the walls, and get this room ready for the new machines. You from the first time I saw ya, you were not like the others, a cool kind of melody. You rattled my cage without warning Kept it up right till the morning A new kind of ecstasy You found a different side of me The one I'd like to be A different side of me, yeah You found a different side of me Like someone pretty need A different side of me, yeah I am using a tablespoon of Tide detergent powder with warm water to clean the baseboards as well as the wall. There are no stop signs, counting down till we take flight. It's how you make me feel, yeah, yeah. Let's call in sick and be lazy. I'm all for doing what's crazy, cause you make it real, yeah. So you can probably tell that I have never cleaned this space behind our washer and dryer. I have never had a reason to have to move them until now. So I'm pretty grossed out by how dirty it is back here. So I'm going to scrub it down, but I can tell that, that some of this stuff is just really stained and is not going to come up. But either way, I'm going to wipe down what I can before everything else comes in. like to be a different side of me yeah new 
ones are here. So right now they're running a kind of a test cycle. But these are so cool. Like maybe you have stuff like this already, but I definitely didn't <laughs> So I'm pretty happy with these. So the plan here is to, I'm gonna have, I have a giant board in the garage now. I need to buy the little supports, whatever these are called. I need to buy a few of those. I'm gonna put another board here and that's where all my laundry detergent and fabric softener and stuff like that will go. Um, pretty happy. It's definitely a mess in here. So there was a time that I actually organized this space and like this right here. I put these in, these little acrylic organizers and that has stayed just like that. But we don't really use canned goods very often so that just doesn't get touched. This stuff is over here temporarily because I'm going to put a shelf in over our new washer and dryer. If you can hear them, they're going right now. Um, but everything else is just kind of thrown in here, which just seems like that happens. Um, I'm using that here in just a minute. That's why that's there. But it was organized in, in some way. You can tell that there, I mean, like this stuff is still good. But you can tell that there was a time that this probably all made a whole lot of sense. But now it's just really just jammed in here or just kind of thrown in here. So I'm gonna take all of this out and try to make more sense of that throughout what is expired. Um, and then I've been all over the place with this thing. So our trash bags always go here. Our dryer sheets always go here. Um, but other than that, it's kind of a bunch of random other stuff. Like both of my boys work at Chick-fil-A. Um, and so when they get home from work, they take off their belts and their tags and um, these are their work shoes, um, if it'll focus. They're, they have to wear solid black, um, like non-slip shoes and they work in the kitchen and these things come home soaked. So we're usually laying them out in here so they can dry. Also, this thing right here is a one of those organizing shelves that would go over your toilet it's broken so this is just like barely hanging on so this is coming out this looks horrible um, we originally put this in here to collect all of our recycle but we never actually put anything in there we just take it out as needed and then I thought well oh I'll keep it in and put all of our lint from the dryer in but I seriously and never do any of that stuff so all of this is coming out because I'm going to try to utilize this wall in some way or just clear it and then above our washer and dryer is also just a giant mess so this when <sighs> my dogs were a little smaller this is what we used for their food storage and I think I'm actually going to put their dog treats don't want to make you busy these because they come in a huge huge box from Costco so I'm going to put them in there and then put them somewhere I can actually reach them um, and then just any extra acrylic storage things that I have that I need to figure out what to do with but either way shelf is going right here and then I'm going to organize all of my detergent and fabric softeners and scent beads and stuff somewhere that I can actually reach them. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easily, but I'm worth it. I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh, oh, oh. So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars oh, I'll stick like glue inside you Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> so I'm going to go through all of this Especially these 
I might rethink some of these and also restock a few of them. Go through all of the snacks and see what is expired and maybe what could just be donated, things that they don't eat. And also go through those too because those have been there for a while. We don't really use a whole lot of canned goods, so maybe I can donate a few of these as well if they are still good and um, just get it all back in here. But again, officially feeling overwhelmed by all the things. I just watch me break in your sweet, your fall. Watch me break in Good. 
Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Steady cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet Whoa, no, not yet Whoa, no, no, not yet Whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying I'll be fine But how you know that I'll be there When it feels like I'm lying every time Someone Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind, but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up no, no, no.
pantry side is done. So much more organized. So any extra drinks that can't fit in the refrigerator will go up on this top shelf. And then we have our paper towels and then just bulk condiments that we've either purchased at Sam's or Costco. And then down here we have extra hot cocoa packages, tea, and then just random snacks. Uh, and then we have beans, pasta. These are breadcrumbs that I'm going to use this week. And then this is almond flour. And then we have um, more almonds, cereal, more cereal back there. And then we have our hot cocoa, popcorn, basically just snacks. And then extra seasoning and like marinades and oils. This basket doesn't get used super often, but none of this is expired. So this is like our oatmeal, cereal, pancake mix, stuff that we don't really grab very often. And then down here, my teenager's ramen. Um, and then snacks, these are so, so good. So this comes all in a pack, but honestly, I really wish that they would make just a bulk size bag, bag of just this mixed berry. It's so, so good. I get this at Costco, but I think um, Target has it too. But they're just like super tiny little granola balls and they're delicious. Peanut butter. I have so many Oreo packages because um, I make truffles during this time of year and I need to make another round of those for a family Christmas party coming up. Then we have all of our kind of cheese cracker snacks back here, these little cheddar well things, and then granola bars and breakfast bars, just easy to grab things for the kids. And then my daughter has been packing almonds for her lunches, and then my son takes these every day for lunch. So. Um, figured they'd get their own home finally <laughs> and because also when he grabs these he doesn't always seal the package that they come up and so I always worry about them staying fresh so I know they will for sure in here and then these um, little fruit bars also from Costco so so good and then down here we have our baking stuff cake mix some brownie um, stuff and um, and then just any like pie filling um, also, don't grab those very often, but I've checked all of them and none of them are expired, so I want to hang on to them just for a little while. And then I went through our canned stuff. I'll donate some things, some stuff I'm unsure about, but I feel like we've had it too long, so those things are going to get tossed. And then extra soup cups back there. And then we have so much chili right back there. It came in a big, big package from Sam's. I don't know why I bought it. Um, but they're all so good, so I'm going to hang on to them and try to figure something out with that. And then these, um, I'm going to make a buffalo chicken dip um, coming up pretty soon, probably a couple weeks. Um, so stay tuned for that one, it's so delicious. These things are for tonight. We got these um, jars of pasta sauce and then also this focaccia bread back here. And that is for our dinner tonight. And then um, random stuff over here, rice, and um, our just like seasoning mixes. So I love it so much better. The floor looks so nice and clear, but our dog's bowls are going to go right back here. And then the food storage container will stay here. But nothing else is coming back in here, and I just totally prefer that. So for here, our laundry bags, sorry, our trash bags, went back um, but I have another idea for our fabric softener sheets so I'm unsure what to do with those so for now those are gonna stay empty I'm totally fine with them being empty so super happy with this so I'm gonna move over here to this side and get this organized um, you may be wondering if I'm gonna paint that and uh, no no I'm not <laughs> I uh, my husband wondered if I was going to paint it white to match. I honestly kind of wished that that one up there was a raw wood as well. Um, I really just like that look. But no, I'm not going to stress myself out. I'm going to keep it just like that.
until I buy some matching baskets. So I'm probably gonna go pick up maybe four or five depending on what will fit. So that whatever goes up there can't be seen, it'll just be storage. But still, you know, aesthetically it'll look nice. So now we just have our Tide Pods and then two of my favorite scents, um, Downy Beads. Um, and then I behind this I have a fabric this is a fabric softener and then a liquid laundry detergent, just extras. And then we have our dryer sheets over here and then any like stain remover and then fabric um, spray. So super simple. If you're feeling something for me, say it now. Cause I can't wait for you forever. Now that the laundry room and pantry are done, I'm going to move back into my kitchen, clear off these countertops, wash some dishes, and just get this space back to normal. I was cleaning a liquid laundry detergent cap in my sink 
and some of the detergent got on the plates and so when I was picking up a few of these larger plates they slipped right out of my hand and I broke that plate. to each other I know we feel the same about the situation like we're stuck inside a game time to get out of this circle yeah we both carry a scar let's rewrite the part we're playing time to cherish who we are the only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before or oh, oh yeah it's time for something better And time for us to follow our dreams No, we can't stay no more oh. Come run away Don't be afraid That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can be notified every time I post a video. I post twice a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, and I will see you all in my next one. Bye. Okay.